hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of t if we have t plus 1 divided by t plus 3 is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of t so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will verify that which of the roots are satisfied our given question statement or in other words which of the roots are solution of the of this equation or which of the roots are extraneous root also i can explain the term extraneous root at the end so please watch this video at the end uh, so here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first you see that the denominator in the right hand side is one so we rewrite this equation as t plus 1 divided by t plus 3 is equals to 1 divided by 1 and now further in the next step uh, we need to cross multiply the terms so when you cross multiply the terms it will be written as this is 1 times of this value equals to t plus 1 is equals to t plus 3 times of 1 is also equals to t plus 3 so here we rewrite this equation as this is t plus 1 is equals to t plus 3. So here we move the variable terms into the left hand side. So for this we move this t uh, to the left hand side and it will become uh, t minus t and this is our plus 1 is equals to this is our plus 3. And now you see here uh, this is the positive t and this is the negative t are cancelled out by each other and we will get here 0 plus 1 is equals to 3 and we get here 1 is equals to 3. So here uh, we generally conclude that 1 is not equals to 3. Uh, it is not uh, possible that 1 is equals to 3 so if uh, uh, it is not possible so this means that we cannot find any value of t from here so if you don't find any root of t uh, so uh, we finally conclude that this equation has no not a solution exist okay so we say that just not solution exist okay uh, so uh, this is the our uh, final answer about this and here we explain the term uh, solution and extraneous root. So uh, here the roots which is satisfied our given question statements is called the extraneous is called the solution. Okay, the roots which satisfy the given question statement is called the solution, and the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root of that equation. Okay, so uh, because here you see that uh, this question uh, has no solution or no extraneous root because we cannot find any value of t. So this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.